Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you some tips on easy care plants and I think you're going to be surprised on how easy they are and I consider these beginner plants. Some people don't but I'm going to tell you why they are. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here. This is definitely a really easy care plant. This is the Golden Pothos. I have had this one a couple years and as you can see it's doing super super good and I have cut pieces off and um, propagated them and I have them in jars of water and they're doing super good but this plant is so easy to take care of I just water this weekly and fertilize it monthly and it is doing super good this is probably a six inch pot that it's in I water it weekly and I only give it three-fourths a cup of water weekly and then I fertilize it. Um, sometimes I'll give it every other week fertilizer and sometimes I'll just do it once a month. just depends on how much work I have to do. But this is a super easy plant to take care of. Definitely recommended as a beginner plant. Next I have another type of pothos. It's called Pearls and Jade and it categorizes right in with the golden pothos. I water it weekly and I give it about three-fourths a cup of water a week and fertilize it monthly as well. For more extensive information I have all these videos below and if you'll just look below if you want more detailed information you can just look below and it will give you all the information that you're going to need on this particular plant but I consider this one super easy to take care of again. You just water it weekly, three-fourths a cup of water a week, and that's pretty much it. Now all of these I do have sitting in a south window, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But this one in particular, it can be put in a lower light and do just as well. It doesn't grow as fast, but it will thrive well, but it won't grow as fast, but it will survive in a lower light. These other ones, I don't like to put them in low light. I think they do better in um, more lighting. Next, I have the Silver Pothos. I love this one. It's so pretty and very easy to take care of. Now, with this one, I water it a little less. It is in a six inch pot and I give it half a cup of water a week. If you give it more than that, it is going to turn the leaves yellow. So it just requires less water, but that's pretty much it. If you just give it less water, you'll do great on that. Again, they say that these are not beginner plants, but I think they can be considered beginner plants if you know what to do. They're real easy to take care of. And I love this one because of all the spots on it. Look how pretty that is. Again, it's sitting in a south window. And it is doing great there in the south window. Next, I have the Neon Pothos. I love this one. I think it's so pretty. Look how bright it is. Look at the colors on it. It's just so bright. Again, this is one of those plants. You just give it half a cup of water a week. And it does great. Sitting in the south window. Check out my Bonnie spider plant. I've had this one several months, probably six months or more. It's doing fabulous. It's the first one I've ever had, but I have had the regular spider plant and it's doing fabulous too. This one likes a little bit more water. I give it two cups of water a week. That is it. It is in a six or an eight inch pot. I can't really tell there, but I still give it two cups of water a week. It does super good and I was wondering why it didn't give any babies and a lot of times they won't put out babies if they are too cramped in the pot so you have to check and see if they need to be repotted and then your spider plant will give out babies after you replant it but after I was investigating that I found this new little baby come out so it's doing really really good this is also known as the curly spider plant that's the first one I've had and I didn't know if it'd be easy just like the other spider plants to take care of, but it is. It's very easy to take care of. 
Here is my peace lily. This one loves water. So it's almost hard to overwater this one. It is in a six inch pot. And look, it did flower for me, aren't they pretty? And I have this again sitting in a south window. I water it one full cup of water a week. And in the beginning, I wasn't sure how to take care of it. So I had to work with the water, but it did really well. I did forget to water it a couple times and it'll get real droopy if you forget to water it. So don't fret if that happens, but again, you can get brown tips, which I did because of where I had it sitting. I forgot to water it, but it just came right back out and is doing really, really well. And I really love the peace lily. Next, I have the Tri-Star or Tri-Color. Um, also, if you look below on my videos, you will see the names, different names that these plants go by. But that's what I like to call this one. I like to call it the Tri-Star or Tri-Color. And that's because it has so many pretty colors in it. Just look at that. I was told when I got this plant that it was really a difficult plant to take care of, and I thought this is not a beginner plant. But in my opinion, this is a beginner plant. I give it three-fourths a cup of water a week, and that is it. I do not fuss over this plant. I just sit it in the window, make sure I water it, and I don't have any problems with this plant. It's so easy to take care of. Three-fourths a cup of water a week. Keep in mind, in the winter, you will reduce your water just a little bit. And um, I can do a video to tell you exactly how much you're going to need on each plant, but just kind of a rule of thumb, I'll give you an idea. This is three-fourths a cup of water a week. I just reduce it down to a half a cup of water a week in the winter. Because it goes dormant, it doesn't need as much. But in my opinion, this is a beginner plant. This is called the Monstera Adansani. Love this plant, one of my favorites. When I first got it, some of the leaves were like this. As you can see, I did not cut them back, and I usually do. But I bought this plant and it was like this. It was in a little small container, had just a few little leaves on it. I took it and cut some of the leaves off, propagated it. This is what I got from it. They're so pretty, doing so well. I also have a glass jar full of these from this one plant. It was just a little small plant that had like maybe two or three leaves on it and they were not doing well. And I got um, the plant and just propagated it. This is what I ended up with. Now on this one, you do not want to overwater or underwater. That's the only thing about this one. It is in a six inch pot. I give it half a cup of water a week. And that is all I give this plant. I think the problem is a lot of people don't know how much they need to give their plants. And so a lot of times it's not considered a beginner plant because they just don't know how much to water it. But if you know exactly how much to water, and of course it's going to depend on how big the plant is, how big the pot is, but these are all basically six inch pots. I think I have one that's going to be in a bigger pot, and I'll tell, tell you about that in just a minute. But basically, rule of thumb, the bigger the pot, you give it a little bit more water. The smaller the pot, you give it a little less water. And that's the rule that I go by, and it works really well for me. Right here, I have the ZZ plant. Now I'm going to say of every plant, in my own opinion, a really super beginner plant and probably, in my opinion, the number one easiest plant is the ZZ plant. You don't have to worry about fertilizing it. You can a couple times a year if you want to, but it'll do well if you don't fertilize it. All of the others do like a little bit of fertilizer and in the videos below it'll tell you exactly how much. But on this one, I give it a third cup of water a week and that is all I give this plant. So if you really want a number one super easy plant, you need to go with a ZZ plant. To me, it is number one, the ZZ plant. Number two, of course, is the Golden Pothos, the two easiest plants right there. But if you follow the directions on all of these plants, you'll see that they're all very easy to take care of in what I would consider a beginner plant. Here I have the arrowhead plant. I just did a video on this one. And it is so easy to take care of. It has definitely outgrown its pot. I'm thinking I'm gonna wait till spring to repot it. Don't wanna interrupt it right now, but it is doing super good. It's in a six inch pot right now. And I give it three-fourths a cup of water a week. 
and it does super well. Definitely, I would put this on a beginner plant list. Here is another plant. This is called the Brazil plant, and I would put this on a beginner plant list. It's so easy to take care of. I have it in an eight inch pot. You can see right there. I water this once a week. I give it three fourths a cup of water a week. Take a look at this plant. Now this one loves to go down. Look at this, it's all the way down and going across the floor here, you can see. It is a trailing plant for sure. It has lots of vines and it does love to go over and connect with your other plants. So if you have it sitting next to another plant, it will grow over and intertwine with other plants. So that is one thing that it does. I have to go in and, and pull it apart. But it's so pretty and it's so easy to take care of and so easy to propagate. Just really, really easy to propagate. And there's not a whole lot of care to it. So I would consider this a, a, a beginner plant and no one really talks about this plant. And I think it's one of the prettiest plants there there is, is the Brazil plant. So keep that in mind if you wanna get a beginner plant. Keep that one in mind. It's really, really pretty. Again, let me give you an overview. I know this is a lot of plants and it looks like a jungle because my plants just tend to get so huge and so full. And all my care tips, you can see them below if you want full, extensive care tips. I have all of these below. I've done videos on all of them. And my plants just get so huge and so full. And they're so easy to take care of. And I just take care of them once a week. I don't really do much in between other than I will go in. I do like to go in and check to see if there's any leaves that have turned yellow. You'll see that a lot of times when it's starting to get more near fall because they're gonna go dormant probably around the middle to end of October. But I'm noticing already that some of the plants are not wanting as much water. So that it's already kind of starting to set into the dormancy stage. And you're gonna see that when winter comes, they're gonna stop growing as much and they're, they'll almost just become like they're sleeping. You won't see much growth, although I have seen a little growth in the winter with my plants, they just tend to do that. But you're gonna see in the winter, they'll kind of go to sleep and just rest. Don't fret when they do that. Don't get worried that they're not gonna grow. They're gonna go dormant. That's just what they do. Okay, there's an overview of everything. If you have any questions about any of them, be sure and link it below. I'll answer anything that I can. If you're new to my channel, be sure and subscribe. Hit the like button, share if you would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.